Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about the outlook for the month of May 2022. So we would start by looking at the synoptic scale features that are prevailing uh, for this month, uh, which is May. So the first one that we would like to uh, cover is the Arctic Oscillation Index. We can see from this index that after remaining negative for a very prolonged period since mid-March, uh, the Arctic Oscillation Index is going to turn positive. And uh, as we already have seen that the negative phase of Arctic Oscillation is uh, not favorable for India because we saw some brutal heat waves and a prolonged heat wave like conditions. Um, however, a uh, change in the index from negative, negative to positive is going to bring in some relief because a positive Arctic Oscillation Index generally means normal temperatures for India. So that is a kind of a good news where uh, moving ahead we could see some normal temperatures prevail for the month of May. The other aspect is the Madden-Julian Oscillation. Uh, so you can see that there is a tendency of madden julian oscillation to stay in the Indian Ocean in the coming days and the signal of that is already seen in your uh, cloud images uh, which is the satellite image here we can see that there is a strong um, uh, cloud bands which are being formed near the equatorial region and this is basically a Rossby wave pulse and the uh, Rossby wave was missing uh, in the Indian Ocean for quite a while now and it has now made an entry so the coming days are going to be really interesting because as soon as the Rossby wave moves in, it will trigger low pressures to form uh, somewhere in the Andaman Sea. And uh, once that low pressure forms under the influence of Rossby wave and uh, high sea surface temperature, that system can develop into a stronger system as well. So coming days are going to be interesting. And of course, this is the La Nina uh, uh, temperature anomaly. You can see that La Nina conditioners, conditions are still pre prevailing. So that is also going to provide a boost for moisture incursion and uh, help in the pre-monsoon uh, season, uh, pre-monsoon rains especially, which has been very subdued so far, as, except for the parts of South, Southern Peninsular India and Northeast India. Entire country has seen uh, uh, subdued rainfall. But uh, things are going to change because the synoptic scale features are changing. Uh, and the positive phase of a Arctic Oscillation Index means that western disturbances will st start uh, hitting northern parts of India. And uh, a Rossby wave incoming pulse will also uh, bring in rains to center, uh, South Peninsula as well as central parts of India as well as northeastern and eastern parts of, parts of India. So moving ahead May seems to be a quite a promising month. So let us look at the dynamics very quickly. Um, as you can see this is the Rossby wave uh, pulse. Uh, N equal to 1 is the primary Rossby wave. So you can see that uh, this system is creating a circulation in southern hemisphere as well as in the northern hemisphere. We are more worried about, we are more uh, interested in the northern hemisphere system. And as you can see, this uh, Rossby wave pulse is still going to be present all the way up till at least 10th of March. So that means that the rainfall activity is going to be picking up in the coming days uh, with widespread rainfall activity expected over eastern, northeastern, um, uh, south peninsular and central India. And due to the western disturbance which is incoming, uh, because this is the anomaly uh, trough in the 500 millibar uh, chart, so this is going to also incur uh, some amount of moisture uh, from the Arabian Sea and bring in thunderstorms to the parts of northern India as well. So overall, the next one week is going to be a rain-fed uh, week for uh, where we can expect widespread rainfall across India. And the Rossby Wave Pulse is, is in the Indian Ocean right now, uh, somewhere uh, spanning the uh, Atlantic as well, sorry, uh, spanning the Arabian Sea as well as Bay of Bengal and that is going to be there till uh, at least for the next 10 days. So what is the outlook? Given that the synoptic scale features are going to be favorable. So for the month of May, the outlook is as follows. Uh, the, we have created three color coatings, orange, green and blue. Uh, orange is basically normal to slightly above normal temperatures, especially in the far northwest India, uh, especially western Rajasthan and uh, northern Gujarat. Uh, and scanty rains, uh, not much rain is possible because those regions are dry, uh, desert kind of region. Uh, whereas coming to the next co uh, uh, next panel it is green which means normal temperatures are going to prevail after uh, record record breaking temperatures 
we can expect some normal temperatures especially in new delhi mumbai and parts of central india uh, including pune as well and normal rains so now we will start getting some thunder showers uh, largely has been missing for maharashtra but maharashtra should start seeing some thunder showers starting from uh, the may 5th or 6th onwards um, uh, that is going to be uh, very important and then blue is this region which is south peninsular india parts of central india especially telangana andhra pradesh uh, at uh, west bengal northeastern india um, this region will likely see uh, mostly uh, uh, below normal temp normal to below normal temperatures and above normal rainfall uh, so this region is going to get some uh, heavy rainfall in the coming days and which is likely to continue over uh, for the rest of may as well um, so this is the overall outlook that we give for month of may uh, normal temperatures are likely to prevail uh, in most parts of india and the pre monsoon rains will also make a comeback which has been missing largely uh, during march and april which were uh, which saw highly deficit rainfall but things should change for the positive in the coming days we would like to end with the monsoon 2022 outlook what is it uh, with an increase in the cross equatorial flow monsoon seems to be on track with the likelihood of an early onset over the mainland our team is keeping a close watch on the movements of the monsoon current and we'll come come up with an update by mid march of what is this, oh, sorry we'll come up with an update by mid may about what exactly is the going to happen uh, the presence of an equatorial wave which is the rossby wave which is there is likely to strengthen the currents in the coming days and there is a possibility of a strong surge of monsoon during the onset uh, so uh, let's be let's not be uh, surprised if a strong onset happens Uh, all we can say is as of now conditions look ripe for a good onset of monsoon um, the deficit in pre monsoon rains is very likely to be made up in may uh, so if that has to happen then we should be prepared for some inten intense rains thunderstorm events especially for central india south peninsular india and east and northeast of india so uh, with that we would like to conclude uh, uh, so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel uh, and uh, if your businesses need uh, division wise state wise or district wise predictions then you please contact us and you can avail of our services uh, with a small fee uh, we also provide highly uh, localized uh, uh, customized services as well as per the business needs so if you want any information please reach out to us uh, at either of these two email addresses or you can also visit our website so thank you so much and uh, see you soon bye